Well, hello, everybody. Welcome to the Viva Style podcast. It's an exciting day, as it always is, because we always really try to bring you some um, interesting content and interesting conversation. And today we have production manager Christian Iglesias and Angela Gonzalez, a videographer and editor of Drive Promotion. We are the team here at the Viva Auto Group. We have an in house uh, production uh, marketing and advertising agency here, and this is part of the team. Uh, some of our team members uh, can't fit them all in here, but we'll introduce them to you a bit later on in some videos and in some pictures. So welcome to the both of you. You know, it's it's really exciting to be a part of a, um, of a team that is creative and just does a lot of stuff for the community. So we have nine El Paso dealerships in El Paso and Las Cruces, Ford, Toyota, Toyota Las Cruces, Chevrolet, Nissan, Dodge in El Paso and Las Cruces, Viva Mitsubishi, Viva Mazda, Viva Kia, and Viva Power Sport. So we have a lot of work to do. Kristen, tell me, tell me about your job and uh, and and maybe explain a little bit about the challenges uh, that that we face as as a production team. Absolutely, my job as a production manager is predominantly to help getting. The, a commercial planned out, getting it shot and getting it edited. Um, it's it's simple on paper, but we encounter a lot of <laughs> dilemmas throughout the process. So especially with automotive, automotive is very different from, I come from a field of creativity that like spans like seven years plus and automotive photography, videography, graphic design, motion, motion graphics. It's very, it's a very specific niche that encounter, we kind of encounter a, um, a creative block at times, but it's it's a fun challenge. It, it's like everything, right? Yeah. You could have a writer's block, you can have a creativity block, and you can have a, have a videography block. But really, you know, the car, our cars, all the different cars that we have here at Viva Auto Group are the star of the show. Absolutely. So how do you profile them? How do you take different pictures of them that makes it interesting and fun? And that is always a challenge. Oh, it is, and especially because just gear-wise alone, like you have to fight with glares, you have to fight with shadows. So there's a lot of gear that has to come into account that we we use here at Drive Promotions to help make the shot look presentable. And then once it's presentable, then the creativity kicks in. So you really have to make the shot look appealing and creative while making sure that we hit the parameters of it being presentable. So so what I do is that I write and then they bring it to life with uh, the pictures and the video and the graphics. And so it takes a whole team to put something like this together. And videographer and editor, Angela, uh, she's also very good at her job. And, and uh, tell us about the challenges that you face. Well, first of all, thank you for having me. Second of all, it's weird being behind, well, in front of the camera, even me being behind the camera. So sometimes with, with what I struggle with videography and editing is, like Christian said, we do have that creative block and sometimes it can happen even in the field or even though like you have it pre-planned and you're ready to go like sometimes it's a challenge because let's say if there's like a glare okay we got to switch this around or if there's a noise okay we got to wait or if there is audio issues or the actor on screen or so on and so forth there's so many challenges that can come with it but the truth is we try and overcome and do the best so we shift and that's mostly most of our challenges is and editing wise sometimes it's just the program that is that is a challenging very part <laughs> program program can be too slow a little a little bit of the time yeah we can go very fast but sometimes the program can just crash and sometimes it's just I'm, yeah. I mean the tools right so yeah. we have we have the proper tools we have the cameras we have the lighting we have the editing equipment we have the programs but but there's always a challenge when something goes down so computers are are just amazing machines that, that are an amazing tool for us to make, that make our jobs easier. Yeah. But yeah. they can also make our jobs impossible when things go down. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. I 100% I agree because even if we have like the most top of the top of the top of the line, it just crashes. And that's like Mac or PC in itself, it just crashes. And it's, yeah. And it's always that it has the best timing. The timing <laughs> of, of the course. crashes are impeccable. Yeah, it'll be like a deadline that we need to get done in the hour, and then we have the final product ready to go. We're just waiting for an export, and then our our screens will go mm -hmm. black, like it'll crash, and then it sets us back a few a few minutes. To hope that 
Best case scenario, a few hours. Best case scenario, yeah, a few, few minutes. <laughs> Worst case scenario, like you, we might just have to start it from scratch. But no, but I think that's one of the challenges I I do enjoy, like when things do come up that you don't plan for, because it gives you the opportunity to pivot. And honestly, with creativity, pivoting in the moment is where, honestly, some of the best creativity is made. Absolutely. Uh, we'd like to show you a little bit of our work. Uh, so enjoy these uh, few commercials that we've created uh, over the last few months. These aren't just vehicles or car parts. They're promises. Hey, thank you so much for choosing Viva. To keep you safe on the road, to get you to and from work or play. No one at the Viva Auto Group ignores a promise or over promises or makes an empty promise. We keep them. A promise is a reason why the Viva Auto Group is a mainstay in El Paso and Las Cruces with eight dealerships and service departments. Because a promise means everything to us and to you. Here at Viva Kia, every new vehicle comes with Apple CarPlay. Hey, check this out. Hey Siri, do you think I'm handsome? No. <laughs> What's your Viva style? It's what you want it to be. Hey Siri, are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Hey, we got our tax refund. Check it out. Come on, let's go to Viva. Let's go. Let's go. What's your Viva style? Find it at Viva Auto Group in El Paso and Las Cruces. One man's dream has become a tradition. The Viva and Fiesta Auto Group has built a legacy. It all began 40 years ago in the heart of the Sun City. Viva and Fiesta is now 700 strong and continues to grow with 16 dealerships in all of El Paso, Las Cruces, Albuquerque, and Santa Fe. I love Viva Ford. I love Viva Dodge and El Paso and Las Cruces. I love Fiesta Hyundai in Santa Fe. I love my Viva Chevy. I'm Frank Cornelas and I'm a Viva Toyota customer. I love Fiesta Volkswagen in Albuquerque. I love my Viva Mazda CX-50. We love Viva Nissan. And Santa Fe. I love Viva Mitsubishi in El Paso. And Fiesta Mitsubishi in Albuquerque. I love Fiesta Subaru in Albuquerque. I love Viva Kia in El Paso. And Fiesta Kia in Albuquerque. The Viva and Fiesta Auto Group set the standard. Welcome back to our Viva Style Podcast. We hope you enjoyed some of our commercials that we created over the uh, few months. Uh, so what we do is that we have a lifestyle commercial where we don't sell cars. We sell image in those commercials and we try to be very communi community oriented and, and focus on the great things El Paso and Las Cruces has to offer. So that's a lifestyle commercial that we focus on. And then we also have incentives. So incentives um, change every single month. And so we have to, you know, spruce it up and change it up in English and Spanish. I write those commercials along with, with Oscar and some, and, and some other team members. And then these two guys, these two creative people, uh, uh, Angela and Christian, get to bring it to life and make it more exciting for um, our listeners and our viewers on social media, on TV, and on radio. So it, it, it is a challenge every single month because, uh, for example, every month I have to write about 120 different 15-second uh, spots. And, and then, but that's just part of what we do. We also put together some videos for, for the service department, for We Buy Cars, for our Ford mobile service van that's already uh, working throughout the city. So take a look at these as well. Value with the 2023 Nissan Altima for 0% APR for 36 months. Variety with the 2023 Rogue or Pathfinder for 0% APR for 36 months. Make the winning shot this month at Viva Nissan, 1310 North Zaragoza Road, the yes address. It happens once a year. This month only, it's truck month at Viva Ford. That means 0% APR at 48 months with $3,000 off MSRP. For fun or for work, what's your Viva style? Come down on I-10 and Red Road and find yours. And we're back in our Viva Style podcast, once again joined by production manager Christian Iglesias and Angela Gonzalez, videographer and editor of Drive Promotion. This is an in-house 
advertising and marketing agency here at the Viva Auto Group. We have a lot of clients who they are our clients, Viva Ford, Viva Toyota in Las Cruces, Viva Chevrolet here in El Paso on Montana, Viva Nissan on the east side, Viva Dodge in El Paso here off of Ali Trevino and also in Las Cruces. We have Viva Mitsubishi on the east side, Viva Mazda, Viva Kia, and Viva Power Sports. Our uh, other um, part of the industry or, or the, of the group is also Fiesta Auto Group, and we have uh, several stores in Albuquerque and Santa, in Santa Fe as well. So we have a big job to do. Absolutely. Tell me a little bit about uh, why you do it. For me, it's just... Um... I don't know. It's just, it's not just a job. No, it's not. It's honestly, it's a lifestyle, especially being creative. Like some people, which I think it's a beauty and a curse for, for me. Like I can't turn off the creativity. Like it's always like, there's no switch. It's always on. So I, there's days where I, we work on edits all day and we're time to go home and I'm still being creativeness and I just go out and I film just to get it out. So not only do you have and use your creativity here at work, you also have your own uh, Facebook page. Tell me about that. Yes. So my Instagram and my Facebook, it's at Christian Churches. It's my last name's Iglesias. So I thought I was a smart little name I made like 15 and it it stuck. So (laughs) but yeah, so I've been able to since the pandemic, I've been really going heavy on showcasing El Paso and the surrounding areas in in a different in a different light, in a different viewpoint. And it's something that people seem to enjoy. <laughs> so I, it's, I, I have a hard time speaking highly about myself. So <laughs> I'll show some photos I've taken yes, of the of city. Course. And the beauty of that is I'm able to take that work and morph it with drive promotions. And a, a really big thing about our lifestyle brand is that we want to showcase El Paso and the highest quality and the most real quality. Like we want to showcase the beauty and the sunsets and the culture and I'm able to bring in the, the videos, the time lapses I've created when I'm off the clock. Okay. And I've, I've been able to incorporate that in our lifestyle commercials. And it's just, it's all about just promoting El Paso. Like, and that's something that I'm very, that's heavy in my heart here at Drive Promotion and as well when I have my own self branding. And we do have a stamp, a stamp on our lifestyle commercials. There's no yelling or screaming or, or selling cars. It's a selling of a, a lifestyle. Uh, what is your Viva style? It's what you want it to be. What's next for you, Christian? Well, what do you see yourself in the next five years? Honestly, drive promotion. We're at the start of it. I'm excited to where it's going to be in the next five, ten years. Um, but just growth. Um, as a creative, you'll you'll never know enough. You always have to be a learner, and that's something that I'm excited to do in the next decade of my life. Just continue to learn and continue to to fail to <laughs> to to learn pivots. from pivots to just keep on going, keep on creating. That's I'm just excited for. Angela, tell me a little bit about yourself uh, beyond here. So I see Angela every day, and she's helped me uh, put together my audiobook as well. And so she does a lot of little things uh, around here that turn into very big things because her work, we show it on TV, and we show it on social media as well. Tell me a little bit about yourself. So about me, I can't really think right now. I'm sorry. No, okay, she's really shy. <laughs> she's really shy. She's really shy. But you know what? That's a beauty. That's yeah. a beauty. Yeah. And that's a beauty of pivoting and also... Uh, doing things that that are uh, beyond your comfort zone. So this is one for Angela. Yeah. So uncomfortability for me, something that I've learned is when you're very uncomfortable, that's when you're kind of stepping into a new, different perspective. So if I'm comfortable right now, in the future, I can be in front of the camera and be like, you know what, I'm 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 good. Like I I got this. Um. But for me, a little bit about myself was I'm very family oriented. So after work, you know, I spend time with my family. I like. Also, as a creative, I continue to learn, watch YouTube videos, because that's my school, quote unquote, <laughs> um, to learn more and more. I try and watch um, TV shows and things that inspire me a lot is, how can I put it? Things that inspire me a lot is things that aren't very normal to this world. So it can be a little bit dark. It can be a little bit light and that's where I'm trying to move forward. I also do create on the side. Sometimes it's just videos or photos of my friends. Like uh, a lot of it, I try to incorporate El Paso more because, you know, someone inspired me to do that. <laughs> uh, 
But yeah, it's a little bit about me. I learned uh, a lot of things that I do here. I do animation. And I learned that again in my old job and in YouTube as well. So I try to incorporate a lot of what I learned into here. And yeah, that's about it. And as you talk, we're going to be showing some of your work as well. So the yes. other day, yes, I said, well, you know, hot tamale. Not the tam tamales that we eat, right? It's a hot tamales that are that are those little red uh, candies. And so um, we can't use the hot tamale because um, it's... Cause it's uh, Trey hot copyright. It's yeah, and the, copyright. Pa the packaging, yeah. And yeah. the cap packaging. So Angela, you know, created her own hot tamales. So uh, it takes a lot of creativity and a lot of um, of, of thought process and uh, to move something like this forward. Where do you see yourself in five years, Angela? Where do I see myself in five years? I hope to be more into animation. That That's actually one of my passions is creating something out of nothing, um, PNGs, anything. I do want to strive to be in a... How to put it? Actually, I'm I'm very stuck on like trying to say it because I'm very nervous. Um, that's okay. There's nothing wrong with being nervous. We all get a little nervous, yeah. so it's yeah. okay. Well, it's because you guys are professionals. So. <laughs> <laughs> For me, it's a little. No, but you know what? That's the beauty. So that's the beauty of having a podcast like this because uh, uh, it gives a lot of people opportunities to uh, step out of their comfort zone, to pivot, to uh, find uh, a, a discover maybe some talent or some something that that they are good at that they didn't know they were good at so you know sometimes it, it is a little hard to find the words i find that you know i've used words my whole life and i write and i had been in front of, i've been in front of the camera but sometimes because we are bilingual it it is hard to find those words angela helps me out a lot uh as well with that uh, with spanish porque ella también habla español es muy importante también hablar español y saber expresarse en español so uh, i hope you found the words <laughs> well, the next five years, uh, what I want to do is something that's actually in my heart a lot is trying to help other people, whether it be videography or in editing. I want to be able to help those people that have don't have a lot of income, mm -hmm. but I'm able to produce so much and have a heart behind it. So sometimes there's people that want to showcase, like, I want to do this, but we don't have enough money. It's like, you know what? Okay, like, let me help you in that aspect. Like, let me help you, like... Because I've been on both sides of that spectrum. And that for me is very war because that's how I grew up. And I just want to help others. Like if it's in the next having my own little production mm -hmm. and in the next five years, I do see myself doing that, trying to help the people in the community, especially El Paso and Borderland again. Because, bueno, porque soy bilingüe, puedo hacer los dos y puedo hablar en español y puedo traducirlo también en español y ayudar a la gente de aquí de Juárez o de Chihuahua o de donde sea. That's fantastic. I think the core, I think, I think the heart behind our drive promotion is uh, that we want to help others as well. You know, it. This is our job, but it's more than a job. It's sometimes a mission. It's how can we accomplish the job while helping others as well. So it, it's fantastic that we're able to do that, and and we do. You know, we're getting ready. We're we're getting ready for our October seventh five uh, k, the San Luis de la Casas Cancer Foundation five k, and they help me. Uh, with this as well, because uh, the Viva Auto Group believes in not just selling cars. We sell cars with purpose, and we want you to, you know, of course, be top of mind when you go out and buy a car. But we also, you know, we provide service. We have we buy cars where you can sell your car and and or buy another one if not. So um, we we provide um, a lifestyle, and really, a a car for many people is a ticket to freedom. And so, um, you know, we try to incorporate all of that, all of that into our jobs as well. Any last words, Christian? Um, I guess my last words would be I'm just grateful to work in a creative space like Drive Promotions. That's really for collaboration. Um, that's something like just self-talk for myself this year going into 2023. Like what was put in my heart was really being collaborative with other creatives, just with other like-minded people and people that like would that don't really share the same opinions as myself uh just keeping perspective open and kind of learning from each other and growing with each other and this space here at drive promotions is something that's really gifted that to me grateful for that i think you know we have some boundaries we have some some rules we have some things that we have to accomplish right but 
But uh, so those things have to remain the same. But there's just so much creativity around that, that although it uh, remains the same, it changes. So that that's the beauty. Anything else you'd like to add, Angela? Oh, just honestly, I'm very, very grateful to have this job. I'm coming up for a year now, and I hope to continue to be here and watch everything grow. If last year taught me anything, is that we continue to grow so much. And I just want to see, like, dry promotions flourish. Well, there you go. This is part of the drive promotion team. And, uh, you know, just want to let you all know uh, and see the, the people and the faces and the stories behind some of our commercials and some of our content that we've created uh, over the years, over the, these last two years. I'm coming up on two years as well. And so um, just wanted to show that and, and feature and, and give credit to the people who are behind the scenes, running the camera, setting up the lighting, uh, because it takes a team to make something like this happen. Well, we hope you enjoyed our podcast, our Viva Style podcast. And remember, if you have any suggestions, uh, drop, us a, drop us a note on our Facebook page. And remember to like and share the Viva Auto Group Facebook page. And let us know what you think about commercials throughout this podcast. We'll be showing you some videos uh, of, of our story. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time. Have a great day. I'd like to hear what you think about today's conversation. Go to the Viva Auto Group Facebook page and like us. If you're in the market for a new or pre-owned car or truck, we invite you to choose a Viva V.